Hello, and welcome to today's book chat. So today I'm doing something a little differently. Rather than giving my thoughts on someone else's novel, I'd like to introduce you to my upcoming book, Hold My Girl. So this novel releases January 24th, 2023 in Canada, February 2nd, 2023 in the UK, and fall 2023 in the US. So I guess to start, I'll tell you about a little bit of my background and where the story came from, because it is absolutely a story that stems from my heart and from some things that are extremely close to me. <laughs> so struggles with infertility have been a part of my life for over a decade. And when at last, after over five years of struggling to conceive multiple surgeries, in vitro fertilization, and then finally a successful embryo transfer, my little baby girl was born, I was fearful of the fact that visibly she was a different race from me. And so in those early months, her hair was fine and straight, her eyes were gray, her skin was even paler than my white husband's, and I was genuinely concerned that there had been some mix-up at the lab and biologically, she wasn't my child. So as the months went on, I repeatedly heard comments about how she was just the spitting image of her father. And I heard jokey questions about whether she was actually mine. And it didn't feel like a joke to me. The fear really grew deeper. Because if she wasn't mine, that would mean that there could be some other woman out there who would stake a claim up, might stake a claim on her. Thankfully, however, by the time she was one year old, her hair curled, her eyes turned gray, or turned from gray to brown, and I started to see myself in her facial features, in her smile, in her behavior, and so did other people. So I stopped having any fear at all that she wasn't mine, and this gave me the freedom to explore the questions. What if these changes hadn't happened? What if she really wasn't my child? And most importantly, what would I owe to the woman whose biological child I was raising? So these are the questions that led to coming up with this dual narrative novel about two women whose eggs are switched during IVF, only to be revealed over a year later when one of them has been raising the wrong daughter and the other has been grieving a child that wasn't hers. So that is where the story begins. And obviously it won't make a lot of sense to tell you what I think of it, though I love it and I am so proud of it. <laughs> but I will tell you that early reviewers are calling Hold My Girl an intensely propulsive page turner, breathtakingly taut, an unflinching examination of what it means to be a mother, gripping, deeply resonant, tender, and an absolute triumph of a novel. So before I end this little spiel, I thought I would add one more thing. So many women are ashamed of their pregnancy struggles. They feel broken or embarrassed. They feel like they're the only one and they shouldn't. The reason I've decided to share so much of my personal story behind the book is because for almost five years, I couldn't. I knew my infertility wasn't my fault, but despite that mental knowledge, I just felt it was. I felt ashamed, I felt broken, and it was extremely hard to talk about. The on the casual response of, we're trying or not yet. It took almost five years of infertility before I told my parents, and I have a good relationship with my parents, before I told my in-laws or friends the real reason we didn't have children. So I hope that this book lets other people struggling with fertility feel a little less alone, and I hope it helps to normalize some of the unique issues both women and their partners experienced when faced with infertility. At the time of this recording, Hold My Girl is available for pre-order in Canada and the UK. Here is the beautiful UK cover right here. And if you haven't yet pre-ordered, I would be so thrilled and thankful if you did. Pre-orders make a huge difference to a book's success, and you can find those links at charlinecarr.com forward slash hold my girl, or even just put in charlinecarr.com, you'll find them. Also, if you want to add it to your want to read list on Goodreads, that would be fabulous, and I would be so thankful. That helps a lot too. And if you're watching this after the book has come out, so 
basically any time after winter 2023, um, buying a copy or ordering it from your local library would mean the world to me. So if you do, I hope you love it. Feel free to come back here and leave your thoughts and please take the time to leave a review on Goodreads or your favorite retailer so others will know whether they should give the story a try. Thank you for watching. Bye. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And please, pick up Hold My Girl.